Good morning. This is Dr. Rajkumar Arya, Associate Professor in Department of Chemical Engineering, NIT Jalandhar. So today I am going to explain how to model the double pipe heat exchanger in case of cooling the distillate actually. So the problem statement is for this case the problem statement Uh, problem statement is the double pipe co-current heat exchanger is used to cool a distillate product using cold water circulating through the jacket the overall jacket is this one so here in this the outside of that cold water is flowing inside of that the distillate is flowing so in this case overall heat transfer coefficient is taken to be EU the mass flow rate of distillate and water is taken as WI and W0 respectively under the turbulent flow condition the fluid temperatures are taken to be uniform across individual flow cross sections so we are supposed to find the relationship to predict how steady state temperature changes with axial positions and from this we have to drive an expression to compute the average delta T between streams by ignoring axial conduction effect and use of constant physical properties assume the inner pipe of diameter D is quite thin so this is the case here so here the distillate is flowing inside this type uh, pipe of diameter D outside is cold water is flowing to cool the condensate so we have taken a differential element where X and X plus delta X so if we will apply the mass balance means energy balance in this particular uh, differential element here so this is the energy coming in with this slate wi cpi ti x energy going out from here wi cpi ti x plus delta x this much energy u pi d delta x ti bar minus t naught bar would be removed by the cool cold water so this much would come out from here same thing for cold water if you do the outside of this uh, in this particular segment if you do the cold water energy balance so this much is the energy coming is with the cold water w naught cp naught cp naught t naught x minus going uh, leaving with the water w naught cp naught t naught x plus delta x this much is the energy cold water is gaining from the distillate so u pi d delta x t i bar minus t naught bar now <coughs> the bar is just the average temperature between the x and delta x one so by taking the limit here delta x tends to zero so t bar tends to t and uh, if we put the limit we will get these equations w i c p i d t i upon d x plus u pi d t i minus t naught equal to zero one equation second equation w naught c p naught d t naught upon d x minus u pi d t i minus t naught equal to zero so since the temperature ti is always greater than t naught so equation 3 and 4 can be rearranged in this particular format so dti upon dx plus lambda i ti minus t naught equal to 0 dt naught upon dx minus lambda naught ti minus t naught equal to 0 where lambda i is u pi d w i c p i lambda naught u pi d w naught c p naught so these two are the required model equations and this can be solved by any 
simple programming language actually so only the variable here is x only so it can be in the means integrated along the length of the tube and these are the known values and fix so we can integrate the temperature profile thank you